30 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Karen Lear. The Southwest Idaho Regional Script Spelling Bee was one for the ages today as competitors battled it out for 28 rounds to crown a champion who now gets to represent Idaho at the National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. This marked the third year of the event in Boise featuring the two previous champions. The participants showed off their spelling talents and all the practice it takes to compete in the spelling bee at a regional level. Each year I see a little bit more poise, right? The students are used to doing this. They're, they're excited about it. They're asking the right questions. The first year kids were up there trembling. I didn't see a lot of it this year. So I'm seeing um, kids that are enjo enjoying themselves, enjoying the competition. Our very own Michelle Edmonds emceed today's event and helped ease the tension as the competition got underway. The big winner today, Liz Jurgensen, who won on the word parsec, which is a unit of measure for interstellar space, and she's homeschooled. Six on your side, Steve Dent takes us to the competition. 25 different champions from 25 different schools will compete in the Scripps Southwest Spelling Bee, but only one will move on to the national competition. It's very nerve wracking. Um, I've seen the stage that they have to spell really hard words on. So yeah, I'm really nervous. And that was a common theme early on for the parents and the participants as they prepared for the competition, but they received advice from the Boise State Broncos. Yeah, it's okay to be totally nervous, but think back to all the preparation you've been doing. Spellers, it is time for the Southwest Regional Idaho Spelling Bee. Exuberant. That is correct. But it didn't take long for the children to overcome their nerves. Semantics. That is correct. I was nervous beforehand. I'm not, I, I don't have stage fright. The stage makes it easier. The competitors started building a rhythm. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Can I have a language of origin? And when they got a tough word, they used different techniques to figure out how to spell the word correctly. Avaricious. That is correct. I saw that the student, when they heard the, 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 the language origin, the, the country of origin, they went, oh. But they didn't have an idea until then. And they're not just memorizing words. They're also learning language. Logarithm. And in the end, Liz Jurgensen outlasted everybody. In part because I read a lot. Like 400 pages in a night, a lot. But it took 28 rounds. Parsec. That is correct. I can be a little bit goofy. Liz will represent Idaho at the National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. My mom and I, we're going to go to the Smithsonian, and I want to see the exhibit with all the minerals and all the jewels and gemstones, because I really like sparkles. Have yeah. fun. Steve Dent, six on your side. Liebenthal joining us now to spell out what's in store for the week ahead in the we forecast. Got a little sunshine. Does it feel warmer to you? I haven't been outside in a while. 